welcome to the workshop. Today's lovely guitar is one of our BS 335s. Yes, the Blue Singer 335. Not what some of those other people call it, but hey, uh, this guitar, of course, is uh, modeled after a Gibson 335 um, and uh, features a uh, maple top side back, uh, maple neck with a rosewood fretboard, as you can see, binding front and back, binding on the neck. Man, I need to get a new guitar strap. Um, this particular one um, features uh, one of our tobacco burst finishes. Um, of course, we have a um, flamed maple veneer on the top here. Um, uh, we aged it because, um, um, you know, that's uh, it's something uh, we uh, were well known for over the years. And I believe we have uh, uh, relics or aged guitars in over 30 countries at this point. Um, this particular one uh, has some really beautiful checking on here. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the video there. There, checking on the side, checking on the back. Uh, we took the neck, sanded the back um, satin, uh, and um, of course, then we aged the hardware. Speaking of the hardware, we have a, a, a tunematic bridge, uh, stop tail piece, of course. Up top here, we got Grover tuners. Can you see those? You can see those. All right, and. Um, <coughs> And uh, what else was I thinking? Oh, oh, the pickups on here are our uh, Mike G Customs uh, um, Vintage Tone PAFs. Um, they're uh, they're modeled after uh, uh, the '59s and the '58s. Um, they're not super hot, um, and, but they're not like super mellow either. Um, down here we got a three-way switch, um, uh, volume, volume, tone, tone, everything you would expect there. And then uh, we have a uh, um, a uh, vintage uh, uh, 335 pickguard as well. Um, this one is available, um, and when we say that, um, look at the published date on this video. Um, if it's more, if 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 it's more than two weeks after its published date, it's probably gone. So at that point, you need to do. Uh, you just need to email us and say, "Hey, can you build us one like that?" Except I want it in cherry. I want it in black. I want it in hot pink. Whatever you know. Um, just uh, just uh, shoot us an email. And let us know on that. Um, anyways, um, as we always do at this time, uh, we're going to uh, do the uh, audio um, um, uh, demo through our trusty Crate GTD 15R uh, amp. It is a solid state amp. If uh, you like the way this guitar sounds through your laptop, your cell phone speakers, imagine how great this guitar sounds through your tube combo, half stack, modeling gear, whatever rig you run, imagine how great this guitar would sound through that. Ah, damn, um, what do I do now? Oh yeah, and now um, I say something like this. Um, we're going to start off with the, um, the bridge pickup, then we're going to go to the neck pickup, then we're going to do both pickups. We're going to do them in clean, um, and of course we have a little bit of reverb. I'm actually going to... Tone that reverb back just a little bit, uh, but we're gonna do uh, clean and then dirty clean, um, and then we're gonna go over to the gain channel. Uh, we started out uh, the demo uh, with the gain uh, set at about uh, about 58.76 percent, um, but uh, we'll go a little bit heavier on that, maybe even a little heavier past that, um, showing that definitely this guitar, while it's uh, uh, um, born and bred to be a blues player, busting out the BB King and all that jazz. Um, it also makes a great rock guitar, punk guitar, um, and even rockabilly. Of, uh, of which all those styles I am a master of none. So, um, here we go. I'm going to go back into the clean channel, start off with the bridge, and clean! I gotta say, I haven't had enough caffeine today. Um, I did have a coffee and I did have a tea, but I, I really believe maybe I need more. So let me try that again.
not even average play. That was pretty, pretty, pretty weak. But I think you're getting the point. Now I'm gonna take that clean chain. I'm gonna push the uh, push the gain on it just a little bit and make it dirty. <laughs> set at uh, 46%. Again. 
<laughs> God, I need a new strap. But hey, you know, you don't get you don't get rid of the strap that your daughter bought you seven years ago. It's just uh, it's one of those things. So uh, yeah. Anyways, um, uh, <laughs> I'm so gone off the rails today. So that said, as always. My name is Mike G. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And as Casey Kasem once said, keep your feet on the ground, keep reaching for the stars. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.